now, Hawaii's most accurate weather with Kamaka Pili. A beautiful shot from the ocean of Waimea Bay. Waimea meaning the brownish water, and that's the color it turns when we have a lot of rain in that area. Now, tomorrow, our weather, really the only threat we are looking at are ocean conditions. Taking a quick look again at the advisories and the warnings we have posted. High surf warning is posted at least until tomorrow at 6 o'clock. High surf advisory for the same time. Small craft advisory and a marine statement that's really focusing on our harbors and all for you boaters that have your boats in the harbors with a lot of this high tide and these surges are going to create some dangerous conditions within the harbor for boats that's bouncing around and also entering and exiting the harbors. So other impacts that we have with all of these factors in play right now, again, rough seas, flooding, especially for low-lying areas, for residents along the coastal areas, property damage really to those boats. And for throughout the week, because with this swell we have now, it's going to start to diminish starting tomorrow into Tuesday, but yet we have another swell going to be reinforced coming from the northwest looking like around Wednesday or so. So, so the high surf warning, at least into effect on Monday, we may have an advisory for Tuesday and Wednesday. We can possibly be coming back up to it, uh, warning levels. Now, right now, the winds are coming down from the north, are going to be shifting towards the northeast tomorrow, making its way over towards the east on Tuesday. And that's because this high pressure system that's towards the northwest right now will be making its way east, north of our islands. And that's what's going to be shifting those winds. So we're going to get back to trade wind weather. In terms of rainfall, not much rainfall associated with that. And because of yet another cold front behind that high pressure system, things will be changing at least in the ending of the week. That's going to be another big weather maker for the second portion of the week. Now, in terms of rain, we see that one band that's the cold, the cold front boundary didn't bring much moisture over the islands. Really, the northern slope seen the most of it and the northern portion of Hawaii Island, but all the three top rainfall areas really was situated on Hawaii Island. Now, in terms of the surf, again, high surf warning, north and west facing shores. Tomorrow, we're looking at 25 to 40 footers for the north. 15 to 25 footers on the west and we're going to see that even uh, trickle down more into Tuesday and again tomorrow will still be warning levels Tuesday possibly advisory levels before it ramps back up again now for the remaining of the week we are looking at some spring, uh, trade wind sprinkles we're going to look at a drier trend to this trade wind moisture not much for the next couple days and that's where we're going to look so a beautiful start to the week but it's the second half that with another cold front it's going to be increasing our rains it's going to be increasing those winds to breezy conditions and that's going to look like it's going to be lasting all the way into the weekend. Kathy, back to you.